In this video, we're going to begin to take a look at how we can translate word problems into a mathematical equation we can solve. Now, there's some key phrases we look for as we do that. One of the key phrases tells us where to put the equal sign, and that's very important. We put the equal sign usually around where the word is, were, was, will be. Those are various conjugations of the verb to be, past tense, present tense, future tense, whatever tense it is, that verb to be generally is associated with the equal sign. Another key phrase we watch out for is more than. More than means we're adding because you get more stuff. As we build that more than, it's important to remember that it's going to be built backwards. If I have five more than you, that means I take what you have and do plus five. Notice the five comes after the plus. Same with subtracted from and less than. It is also built backwards, addition and subtraction. If I have two less than you, I subtract two. The two comes last. So if, for example, we had five less, then three times the number is nineteen, and we want to know what is the number, we can break this apart into pieces. We have five less than. Five less than means we're subtracting five from something. Well, five less than what? Five less than three times a number. Well, we're subtracting five then from three times the number. Boy, we don't know what that number is, so let's use x, our variable that we're looking for. Then we see is nineteen. Is nineteen. Is is the equal sign equals nineteen. And so in this way, we've built five less than three times a number is nineteen. We have the equation three x minus five equals nineteen. We now have the ability to find out what the number is by quickly solving the equation, which we should be very good at by this point. Adding five to both sides gives us three x equals twenty four. And then finally, dividing both sides by three x is equal to eight. This is the number that the problem is looking for. Let's try another example where we have to do some translating. To end up with our final result. Let's see what we have here. We have seven more than twice a number is six less than three times the same number. Let's break this down. Seven more than. That's addition built backwards. Seven more than means we're adding seven to something. What are we adding seven to? Twice a number. Okay, so that number x is twice it, double it, two times x. Then we see this word is. Is represents the equal sign. What do we have next? Six less than. Six less than, that means we are subtracting six. Remember, it's built backwards. We don't know what we're subtracting six from yet. And I'm out of colors, but we're left with three times the same number. Three times that same variable x. We now have an equation to represent seven more than twice a number is six less than three times a number. We can solve this equation like we solved any other equation. First, get the variable on one side by subtracting two x from both. Gives us seven equals one x minus six, and the one in front of a variable is optional. And then finally, adding six to both sides to get the x finally alone. That number that's described here is thirteen. Again, it's really important to be able to identify what those words are that we're translating. Is the equal sign more than addition, less than subtraction, and those are both built backwards to get the equation 
we can solve.